So now we're on to the sub report section, but what exactly is a sub report? It's worth just having a few seconds to contemplate exactly what a sub report is and how it's made before we actually physically look at the mechanics of making your own sub reports. And basically a sub report is still a report. This file here that we have sub underscore items sold, it's in your working folder, is a report in its own right. It shows the items, quantity, price, total, which is a formula and the current basket that that sale belongs to for all of the sales within the data. So there are 1,776 records. What we can then do with that file is actually place it inside another file. And if we do that with the sample sub report one, which is also in your working folder, you'll find you then get parts of that report displayed. So here we have the makeup, item, quantity, price, total, which is exactly as you see it there in the sub items sold, but effectively filtered by the detail section that they're within. If you look in design, you see that that little bar there is your sub report and it's within the detail section. So for every record in the main report, it then filters the sub report. So you can see that for this particular purchase, 7581, they bought one horse riding mug and coaster. If we move through the data, we'll find this particular one here, 11512, they bought three items. So the sub report is able to grow to show those extra items. And if there are less items, it shrinks. And if there are no items, it shrinks as narrow as it's able to shrink. So if we were to find a basket reference that actually had no purchases, we would find we would run straight into the next record. So there's one with a few, three and two. The area just grows bigger. It's actually blue at the moment because it's selected. Without it selected, person seeing the end result doesn't actually know that there is a sub report within a main report, but we're using the main report to filter out the contents of the sub report. So on its own, we see 1,776 records. Inside another report, it's filtered by the detail section that it falls within. Now there are other types of sub reports. If for example, we look at these two reports we have here, the product report, which shows us how many items are in stock at different weights. So we can then see the calculation of a total weight for all our stock. On the data report, which we can preview, we see the total sales for each month of 2011. Now there's no correlation between these two reports data. One is the total sales by month. The other is a breakdown of items by their actual weight. Now, although there's no correlation, we can take both of those reports and place them inside another, which is our sample sub report two, again, in your working folder, where you can see I've placed both our separate reports. We don't even need to call them sub reports, our two separate reports into one report. There's no link between the two lots of data. There's no link between the two lots of data and the main report we've placed them in. And then we can click preview and we see both reports on the same in this case the same page but certainly within the same report so it's a way of pulling in non-related data into one report we create all that data as separate sub reports and then pull them in to one that we could call a master report because these two lots of data are not related to each other there will be no other way of pulling that information to the same report because they have no relationship by using sub reports we can do it so we create our two separate reports, three, four, five, six, if you want, and pull them into one master where they then get displayed on the report. So those are the two reasons for sub reports. One is here where we have non-related data, but we need it on the same report. So we can pull in these reports as sub reports. And the other is where we'd like to filter out the data of a sub report. So we had sub items sold, shows us everything that's been sold. We're then using the master to filter that, in this case, by basket. So that particular order there has one item, that particular there has two items, that particular there has none. So there's a gap effectively there between that item and that item. And that's all done with the power of sub reports. Obviously our next step is to look at how we create those sub reports and how we pull them into our masters. And we have them as either linked or non-linked reports.